to our uh, YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Vandana Ramanathan. Today I'm going to be uh, giving you a briefing on thyroid disorders and infertility. So uh, we see a lot of couples who come to us with uh, you know thyroid abnormalities and uh, they also have infertility. So what exactly we have to counsel these couples and how does it affect the fertility is something that many couples don't know. So the couples that come to us with these issues they actually don't know that uh, you know thyroid abnormalities can also be a cause for their infertility. Now, how does uh, thyroid abnormalities cause infertility? So, I'll come back to that later. First and foremost, you have to know how to diagnose that you have a thyroid problem. So, thyroid disorders can be either hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. What is hypothyroidism? Hypothyroidism is when the active thyroid hormones in your uh, body are less. That is your uh, T3 and T4 will be less as well as your TSH that is the thyroid stimulating hormone will be high. This is called hypothyroidism. Uh, what symptoms can you have if you are suffering from hypothyroidism? So you can have symptoms of cold in intolerance, fatigue. Women can come to you with uh, complaints of uh, irregular periods, uh, prolonged cycles, uh, abnormal uh, bleeding during periods. And uh, they can also have other symptoms like decreased uh, sense of uh, uh, hunger so they have decreased appetite and in spite of that they will have a uh, have weight gain so these are some of the symptoms that a hypothyroid person can come to you with uh, now what is hyperthyroidism hyperthyroidism is when the active thyroid hormones in your uh, body are high that is your t3 and t4 will be high and your tsh will be low this is what hyperthyroidism is now again what uh, uh, are the symptoms of hyperthyroidism so hyperthyroidism patients can come with uh, uh, complaints of excessive sweating, excessive hunger, palpitations, uh, anxiety and they can also come to you with menstrual abnormalities. So these are a few symptoms to cover. There are several more symptoms that the patient can come with but this is just in brief more the, the frequent symptoms that patients usually come with. Uh, so if any patient has uh, infertility, we uh, do it, uh, do the TSH and uh, uh, thyroid free T4 levels on a routine basis. Why? Because many a times patient can actually not have any symptoms and still have thyroid abnormalities. Like patient will not be able to recognize that they have symptoms but they will be suffering from some kind of thyroid disorders. So we will perform the TSH and free T4 levels in all patients and if we find any thyroid disorder we have to correct it. How does this thyroid abnormality lead to infertility? Now uh, in women uh, what can happen is if a uh, lady is trying to conceive naturally or with simple treatment, now thyroid abnormalities can hamper ovulation. So it will not allow ovulation, that is release of the egg from the follicle. So when ovulation doesn't happen, obviously pregnancy cannot happen. Uh, second thing is it can lead to increased chances of miscarriages. So this is another problem that the lady can have. So even though she conceives, she can have higher chance of miscarriages. Supposing this lady uh, is actually going for IVF treatment. Now in such patients what will happen is one is in them of course we are not concerned with ovulation but what happens during the course of the IVF treatment is they will have decreased fertilization rates and again decreased implantation rates where uh, even though the embryo is formed they will not have a good implantation so that that embryo will not get attached to the lining of the uterus properly. Or, and they can again uh, have if it even if it gets attached and if the thyroid hormones are not in control, it can lead to uh, increased chances of miscarriages. So, uh, which is why correcting the thyroid disorder is very important in females. In males, how does it affect? In males, again, it can cause abnormality in sperm parameters. So, the sperm count will decrease, the sperm motility will decrease and as well as the sperm morphology. That is how uh, the sperm, uh, the head, neck and tail of the sperm will not be proper. So, sperm morphology will also decrease. So this is why it is very important to check the thyroid levels in both of the partners, the male and female and get it corrected if it has any issues. Now for example, I can give you an example of a patient who has come to us with, you know, a young couple, they have come to us with a short uh, married life of maybe two years and uh, both the uh, male and uh, female, both of them are quite young, less than uh, 30 years, like around 27, 28 years. Uh, they have come, they have been trying for a pregnancy since two years and they are not, not able to conceive. They had no other uh, comorbidities, none of uh, the history. When we took the history, they had no significant history of any disorders in the past. When we did their baseline investigations, we found that the lady had a 
very high DSH level. Her DSH was somewhere around 8 or 9. So we uh, informed her about it and we started her on thyroid medication so to decrease the DSH level and uh, she started the medications. So we had uh, told her that we will retest her thyroid levels in uh, uh, around 6 weeks and then we will plan for, to start treatment depending on how her thyroid levels are. If they come back to normal and we can start the treatment. And uh, after 6 weeks when we tested her TSH levels, it had dropped to less than 5. So we decided that we will go ahead and start uh, you know, some simple treatment. Now usually when uh, a lady is planning pregnancy, we ask her to keep her TSH levels less than 2.5. So, uh, which is when, uh, because even though your uh, TSH levels will be in a normal range, uh, in pregnancy or when you are planning pregnancy, your TSH levels have to be maintained less than 2.5. So, uh, we started the patient on simple treatment. Uh, first two months, she could not conceive. Then in the third month, uh, we again rechecked her TSH levels. This time, it was well under control. It was somewhere around 2.2 or 2.3. So, we uh, again gave her ovulation induction drugs and uh, with just uh, the medicine for egg growth and injection for ovulation, this lady has conceived. So this is how much it matters that you have your hormone levels under control, especially your TSH levels, where, uh, you know, simple uh, treatment of this thyroid disorder has given her a pregnancy. So uh, I would request all of you that, you know, if you have any of the signs and symptoms that I have mentioned, you know, please go to your doctor and get yourself tested. Uh, because very simple treatments, correcting all these very sim uh, simple uh, issues will actually give you a pregnancy. So I hope this video has been uh, informative for you. If you liked uh, this uh, video, please do share it with your friends and family and do subscribe to our channel. And uh, you can also, if you have any more queries about uh, this uh, topic, you can always uh, visit our website or call us on the number that's given in the description box and get in touch with us. Thank you very much.